Frog Mother, please help us. We don't know frog anatomy. This is a job for Fairy Frog Mother, but I'll need to go in disguise. Hmm. I know. I'll be a student on the Kirkwood Science Fair Green Team. And my name will be Avalon Tyson. And I'll be 10 years old. I need a hypothesis. I know. I hypothesize that digital frog dissection is an effective learning tool that will result in a higher post-test score than pre-test score. I don't have much time, so I better get started. When I got the software from frogguts.com, I took some time going through it. There's a lesson for each body system. Then there's a 10 question quiz. I used those quizzes to figure out what people knew before they did my project. And I used the same exact quizzes to figure out what they learned during my project. One thing I wondered was if people would automatically get a higher score on their post quiz just because they were already familiar with it from taking their pre-quiz. So I decided to have two groups. The control group which only took the pre-quiz and post-quiz. The other group was the test group. The test group took the pre-quizzes and post-quizzes just like the control group. The one variable is they took the dissection lessons using the software. It was taking me about 20 to 30 minutes to do the pre-quiz, dissection lesson, and post-quiz. So I knew I would have to narrow down which body systems I include or else it would take too long for people to participate. I chose circulatory, respiratory, and digestive. So we have one subject from the control group and one subject from the test group. Now they're both working on their pre-test and they're on paper. The reason is because if it was on the computer and they got one wrong, it would automatically tell them the answer and we don't want that. I wonder what they would think if they could see me here right now. Hmm. It took over 18 hours of testing because there were 10 people in the control group and 10 people in the test group. Now I hand graded the pre-quizzes and the computer automatically graded the post-quizzes. These sheets are where I keep all of my data. I took the data from these charts, put it in Excel to get an average of pre-quiz and post-quiz scores for both groups. This made it really easy to see the average change in scores from pre-quiz to post-quiz. Doing it this way put the focus on the change of scores, not the actual scores. This graph shows the average increase between pre- and post-quizzes for all three body systems. The control group increased 13, 14, and 15 points. The test group increased 24, 30, and 43 points. My conclusion is that dissection software works. Both groups scored higher on their post quiz, but the group that used the dissection software scored even higher. That proves my hypothesis was correct. So mission accomplished. I helped all of those in need with frog anatomy. In the future, I wonder what it would happen if people were allowed to go to the software more than once. I bet their post quiz scores would improve even more. Thank you, Judges, Science Gym, and Kerclick. And a special thanks to FrogGuts.com for their amazing software. This is Fairy Frog Mother for the Green Team. Bye!